What is up guys, be like here, and today we are back in action playing some Resonant Rise. And uh, today is going to be freaking amazing. So, uh, <laughs> I kind of derped. For some reason, I got my, my upload schedule weird because I, I thought today was Sky Factory. So, me and Isaac just finished recording Sky Factory. And I was like, yeah, we put this up like today, right? And he's like, no, it goes up on Tuesday. I was like, uh, well, I don't have a video for today. <laughs> So I completely forgot there was supposed to be a video for today. I thought I already had it covered. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing a little mini t uh, mini sewed episode of Resonant Rise. What that means is it's going to only be around 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, we are going to just do a bunch of different random stuff. And uh, dang it, I, I've re- God, ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. I have two maps up there. Why? So I've reinstalled. I tried to update Resident Rise and Resident Rise the new update doesn't like my world at all with uh, like a bunch of it has a bunch of extra stuff Doesn't like my world at all it doesn't let me update so I'm still kind of working on that and I've been going back and forth trying to figure out how to update and um, Apparently I've installed multiple mini maps anyways I'll just ignore it. I know it's gonna drive some of you insane. It's probably gonna drive me insane, but just ignore it for now um, So yeah, I I derped or whatever. Uh, that's it's it's fine. It's fine. So no oh, no no <laughs> no So we're going to uh, be doing some random stuff. I think so I looked at someone had said in the configs that uh, Alteris, uh, let's see. Let's let's look this up. Let's look up tart right here. Um, let's see tart air right so Tartarite, you would okay. So Tartarite apparently uh, spawns. Well, okay, Tartarite doesn't spawn, but Tartarite uh, it needs Alteris and Adamantine, Adamantine, uh, and those spawn in uh, their fantasy metal. So uh, Resident Rise has actually set these up where they only spawn in Erebus and Twilight Forest, uh, uh, Dim Seven and Dim Sixty Six. Someone in the comments said this, and I didn't believe him, so I looked up in the configs myself. They only, and it's true, they only spawn in Erebus and um, Twilight Forest. And they spawn between Y level 4 and Y level 16. Uh, one of them is like uh, 10 to 16, one of them is like 4 to 10 or whatever. So I just, between 4 and 16, you'll find both of these metals in Twilight Forest or whatever. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the Twilight Forest today and... Um, Maybe do also a little bit of blood magic. So, as you guys probably see, um, <laughs> so I asked last time what kind of style I should go with. Well, I kind of started building uh, last night, and I kind of I think I came up with a sauce. So I think what we're gonna do is we are going to do a castle. Some people didn't like the idea of a castle, but this isn't going to be a symmetrical castle. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding rooms and buildings as we need them. So it's going to be a long-term kind of castle. I might build some stuff just to have some stuff to make it look nice, but. It's going to be a long-term kind of castle, and I haven't done a castle in a long time. And the way this is going to work is we are not going to make, it's not going to be symmetrical. It's going to be kind of like dilapidated all over the place. We're going to be building around the mountain. We're not going to be demolishing the mountain, and it's just going to be everywhere. And just imagine like a sprawling castle that's everywhere. And I'm going to add like a bridge that goes through here through here and it's actually going to eventually it's going to actually be up here through there through there and it's going to connect right there and we'll actually change this style of bridge so it's going to go all the way through here and we're just going to have a bunch of stuff it's going to be really cool so let's come up here let's check it out and uh, let's see exactly what it looks like so this is what i have so far uh, we're using a combination of marble and this agon from z tones i was using z tones here let's see uh z tones uh, as you see, all the stuff is actually really easy to make. Agon uh, just requires a, a whatever this is, which is just this, and uh, Agon, which is just like Z tone tiles and Aurora. Z tone tiles are just like stone slabs and stuff. So all this stuff is really easy to make. Z tones is really cool. It's it's all easy stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're using a combination of red and marble, and uh, we're also I started to change a thing right here. So wherever there's cobble, this is where we need to put runes. I made some. Uh, I, I guess I made this last time. I made some runes of self sacrifice. Uh, also, I made a transfer node, so it just uh, I, and I have a filter right here that filters out blank slates and reinforced slates. So I can just stick a piece of stone in here, and um, once it turns into a, a blank slate, it'll automatically get sucked out through here. So we'll watch it for a second and see uh, what it does. There we go. See, it gets sucked out. There we go. We got 14 slates, one reinforced slate, and I've just been kind of doing that stuff because blood magic takes a long time until we can get to like an automated blood stuff. Now, guys, I've done blood magic before. Um, I don't know the new stuff in Blood Magic, like since they added the tier six stuff, but I, I do know how to do stuff. So um, some people were commenting about doing, you know, like the the using 
uh, daggers of sacrifice and doing uh, the ritual of well suffering and stuff. I've done that stuff before, guys. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, just tell me what you guys think about the style. I'm also going to be using different colors. So, uh, different parts of the base or different wings of the castle are going to be different flat colors like this. Like over here, I was probably going to use brown and then maybe back there. Uh, we might even add a, a Batania section, move all the Batania inside. And we'll make that like the green area and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um... Uh, so yeah, this is what I've been doing. Tell me what you guys think about it. I think it looks pretty cool. So let's jump down here and take a quick look. I know this is intro here is taking for a while. So we got some support braces underneath. Um, I think it's going to look good. And this guy kind of juts out a little bit. And then we have a little patio. Um, also, inside of here, I have changed. So, oh, look, it's closed because it's nighttime. <laughs> nice. I love this. I love that it closed. I changed it. So I got rid of all the wood things here. And uh, I've added these, um, these right here. So there's no more wood things. So it gives me a little bit more room in here. And then we have uh, one of our villagers. So I had to go get another villager because our food villager actually died. Uh, so I got, I went and got another one. So this guy serves spaghetti, uh, rainbow curry, leather boots, uh, hearty breakfast, saddles, uh, deluxe cheeseburgers. And that's all I've got from him so far. And as you know, so I have like one of everything just because you need so many different types of food or whatever. Actually, let's uh, let's eat some rainbow cur- uh, No, I'll wait till my food goes down a little bit. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. I'm going to get some stuff together and I will be right back. Okay, so we're actually going to make the portal to the Twilight Forest. And the first thing you need is a 2x2 two two little hole right here filled with water. And then you just put flowers all around the outside edge. It doesn't matter what type of flower it is. It could be any type of flower. And why did I know to get the <laughs> correct amount of flowers? For some reason, I was under impression it was like a chest shape. So, anyways, um, <laughs> in my brain area, even though I know that's not the case. Can, does these, do these work? Can I use the Lotus from that? Because I wonder if that's actually acceptable. Uh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. So, let's see. Let's, uh, grab, uh, I guess, I guess this will have to do. So, we got that, and we got that. Now, you just throw a piece of diamond in the center right here. And it works. Okay, there we go. Nice. So we have... Oh, nope, nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing? Get out of here. There we go. So now we have opened a Twilight Portal. Let's go inside. Now, I'm not going to be doing much of the Twilight Force today. All I want to do is I want to go down to the under thing and mine a little bit and see if we can find some uh, adamantine and adamantine and uh, some alteris or however you pronounce it. I'm not going to pronounce anything right, guys. So just ignore me. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll probably end up fighting all the Twilight bosses, but maybe like one boss every 10 episodes or something throughout the Twilight Force. I've, I did the Twilight Force, I did the entire thing in Mad Pack last time, so I'm not super interested in it in this playthrough. Ugh. I am interested in Erebus and a tomb, though. I do have a tomb installed, which is pretty cool. Um, so, oh, we got May Apple. That's, what is that? Anyways, what I'm going to do, oh yeah, look at this shy. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna dig down to the bottom of the world and mine a little bit and we'll see what we get um, I don't know if it will spawn in the hills like the the ore hills or whatever uh, it might Okay, we're back. So I have found some adamantine <laughs> And uh, I have also been finding a bunch of other stuff. So this guy this stuff looks really really cool But I found let's see I've been getting a bunch of golden diamonds because I'm low on gold and diamonds uh, but I found astral silver uh, Carmot Deep Iron Infusgolium, uh, Mithril, Oracolos, uh, 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 Prometheum, I could say that, Rubliclium, and uh, that's pretty much all the, the like special ores that I've found here so far. And now I have found Adamantine. So uh, let me, I've been just throwing up all this stuff away right here, all the stuff that I want, don't want. I've just been getting all the special ores so I could show you guys, and then... Um, just maybe some gold and stuff that I need. But I'm really, this is what I am really looking for is this stuff right here. Let's, oh, oh, yeah. wait, 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 give it, give it to me. 36 adamantine. So I'm using this guy right here. So fortune three and redstone. So this is actually turning out to be freaking amazing. That's awesome. Uh, now to get the other stuff, I have to go up a little bit. See, I'm down at four. So now I need to go. I, I think it's like. Uh, 16 is the max, so I'll probably go up to like maybe 10 or something and then mine from there. Okay, we're back. So, uh, <laughs> I found the Alt- uh, uh, Atlaris. I've been saying this wrong. Atlaris. I'm sure some of you guys, I've been mixing the T and L. Atlaris. 
Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> sorry about pronouncing wrong, uh, but I have been mining and this guy actually requires Manulum Plus. So I went back and made my pickaxe out of Manulum thinking that would fix it. It didn't fix it. So I just had to level this guy up. But So now I, I mined this guy out and it leveled it up to Manulum Plus. So now I should, yes! I got five, five out of two ores, so that's over. That's more than ore doubling right there. That's sweet. So what I'm gonna do is I have 40 adamantine and five at Laris. I'm gonna mine a little bit more until I get some more of this stuff, and we'll be right back. Also, these tools, I really like the adamantine tools. They look really, really cool. Let's see. Uh, mining speed, mining. Actually, I might make all my tools out of adamantine. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make all my tools out of adamantine, and then I'm gonna make all my weapons out of tartarite and my armor out of tartarite. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think that'll be really cool. I kind of want adamantine armor because it's all red and looks really like BA, but tartarite is better, so I'm gonna do that instead. Okay, we're back. So, this is about an hour of mining. I got uh, 30 more at Tolaris. At Laris? At Laris? <laughs> I got about th or I got 30 total and I have 40 adamantine total. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick all of this oh uh manulum we need you to go away. Uh yeah, so I'm gonna stick 30 in here and then we're gonna stick 30 of that in there, and then I have so much uranium like that mine was so good on the gold uranium and diamond front. That was the only three things I was uh, concerned about was gold uranium uh, diamonds, uh, Atlaris, and Adamantine, so, uh, yeah, uh, but we turned out pretty good, we got, like, four stacks of diamonds, we got, we had, like, zero gold, so we had, like, we just got a crap ton of that, and we had maybe only a couple stacks of uranium, and we got a crap ton of that, so expect a big reactor soon, but I'm excited, we're about to get Tartarite, we're about to get Tartarite, it's gonna be so amazing, okay, 60 ingots of Tartarite, nice, now, what I want to do is I need 24 of these guys. Oh, no, I don't want that. I need 24 of these guys to be ingots. Uh, so let's put that there, and then let's get our ingot cast. Boom. So we want 24 of this to be that, and then we want to replace, like, our sword and all that kind of stuff. So let me go ahead and take this cleaver. I think this is going to be, like, our damage cleaver. This is going to be our beheading cleaver. Uh, so we want a, a sword here. Let's go ahead and just look at this. So, um... A sword we need, yeah, okay, let me grab all this stuff. So, uh, we want a large blade, we want a tough tool rod, uh, we want a sword blade cast, and then we want a guard and a normal tool rod. Do we have a normal tool rod? Yeah, we got a normal tool rod, and then we want a guard. Where is the guard? Is it a wide guard? I think it's a wide guard. Uh, so, right now our sword does 34 attack damage. We're about to see what it does. Here in a second. I'm also going to replace my bow as well, which is going to be pretty sweet. Uh, so let's get this. Uh, let's uh, get a, a guard here. And then uh, we're going to replace everything. Not everything, just a lot of stuff. Uh, mostly our damage dealing weapons and uh, that kind of stuff. So let me let me go ahead and get this. So how many ingots we have? We have 10 ingots. Okay. And then uh, come on, give me the tool rod. Yes. Let's do this. And then boom. So before... Wait, wait, what? 34 attack damage, 60 attack damage, what? Oh my, holy crap. Uh, oh my, holy balls. 60 attack damage, and then 6,000 durability. This is, hits like a truck. This hits like a truck. This is a normal sword that does 60 attack damage. Holy crap. How many ingots do we have? Do we have 17? Okay, so I want to replace the bow here. Uh, the short, is that a, yeah. So we need two things, two of those. Okay, so we need two bow limbs. Uh, where are the bow limbs right here? Boom. Let me grab this. And we want one. Uh, get rid of this guy. Okay, so we have 20 tartarite. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can't make a Tartarite bow. No, it was going to be so good. It was going to be so good. Okay, whatever. We'll make we'll make a cleaver. We'll make a cleaver. Uh, let me let me get a couple more of these guys. Oh, wait, can we make Tartarite? Uh, oh, holy crap. Can we make arrowheads? 
please tell me we can make arrowheads. This is going to be amazing. So they do 21 attack damage. No, dang it. Dang it, we can't make it, that sucks. That sucks so hard, that sucks so hard. That would have been amazing. But I can't, this sword is amazing. I can't believe the sword does this much damage. I'm so excited. I've never done Tartarite before. Like, so th this is just going to be amazing. Let's just, okay, so wait, wait, wait. So I think this, this starts at 14 and this takes it up to, uh, oh, it's still 14? Huh, I thought it was 16. Oh yeah, now it's 16, okay. Okay, so it's a Tartarite Cleaver now, so we can fully uh, upgrade this. Oh my god, 18,000 durability. That's crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this back in here. And then I'm going to throw uh, this guy back down. And then now we can make everything that we need to make. This is awesome. So we have all this. Let's make the armor. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, and then we want to get stuff. Okay, we're back. So I got some mana steel ingots. We're gonna make a mana steel helmet and we are going to combine the mana steel helmet with the goggles of revealing. So that way we'll have some better protection. Yes, mana steel helmet of revealing. We're gonna look like a dirt, but you know, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Uh, too bad we don't keep it for our stuff. Now let's go ahead and enchant our things and hopefully we have enough levels for all this. Uh, but this is amazing. I love it. So we want, uh, I guess I'm, I'm gonna get just straight up protection. Uh, feather falling and then we want unbreaking so enchant Yes, is this everything not nah, we'll take haste too. We'll take haste. That's fine. It's fine And then what else do we want? I think that is everything else that we want. We might take last stand eventually uh, I'm not really too worried about it. So yeah, we're gonna well, I'm gonna go ahead and chant all of this stuff probably off-camera and we'll see like what we kind of get next time Oh, yeah One last thing I forgot to show you guys is I've been working on the interior of this and we have like a little bar back here And we got some fruit presses some ferment ba barrels and that kind of stuff going on I've just been kind of working on some stuff just doing a little stuff here and there and I fully enchanted the helmet So we got protection for and break three respiration and aqua affinity uh, the tartarite chest plate We're just going to add some unbreaking by the way those jars those uh, brain, zombie in a jar, brain, zombie brains in a jar, or whatever. Uh, those things hold like 30 levels a piece. They're actually really sweet. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. I think this is a fully protected tart right here. We have full, full, full protection for and unbreaking, and then like feather falling and haste and respiration aqua finny. So we're pretty strong. Yeah, th we're pretty strong. We're like, I think this is the best we can get in the game without going to something like, you know, maybe like a uh, quantum suit or the blood magic armor to ma that just makes us invincible. I think as far as like vanilla-ish items go, we're pretty much there without, you know, like any of the tech items and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is freaking amazing. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. It has taken me a lot longer than expected. And this video is actually a lot longer than expected. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, this video was rushed, but uh, I, it was really fun. I like getting the Tartarite. It was awesome. Um, anyways, I love y'all's faces, and I'll see you guys for the next time, or next one, stuff and things.